hundred years ago today, November 11th, 1915, Albert Einstein is lecturing for the second time in as many weeks to the Prussian Academy of Sciences. He's giving them an update on all his work toward the general theory of relativity. Now, he is not quite done, he's not finished, but he's making progress, which is great. But he's also deeply concerned. Because you'll recall that a week earlier, he learned that David Hilbert, a German mathematician, is now racing him to the finish line. Hilbert is trying to figure out the general theory of relativity on his own. So what Einstein does is he sends Hilbert a copy of the presentation that he gave to the Prussian Academy to kind of cut Hilbert off at the pass. Hilbert writes back to Einstein. He sends him a postcard, which is enormously distressing. Hilbert tells Einstein, I figured it all out. I know the equations of general relativity. And in fact, come and visit me the day after the day after tomorrow in Göttingen, and I will explain it all to you. And of course, Einstein does not want to meet with Hilbert. He almost has the solution himself. He doesn't want someone to tell him the answer. And then that person, Hilbert, gets credit for discovering the general theory of relativity. So Einstein writes back to Hilbert and says, I'm a little busy. I'm gonna to wait to read your ideas in the published version of your article and I've got kind of a stomachache. I really, I really don't want to travel. Then Einstein redoubles his effort. And in fact, he shifts his focus a little bit. He decides to work on a long-standing puzzle in Newtonian gravity that has to do with the motion of the planet Mercury, basically thinking that if his new ideas can help resolve this puzzle, everybody will be convinced. Now the puzzle is that Mercury's orbit does not quite close on itself the way Newtonian gravity says that it should. Instead, the orbit kind of shifts a little bit each year. In fact, it shifts by an amount of 43 arc seconds each century. This is known since the middle of the 1800s. Nobody could explain it. They came up with ideas like maybe a hidden planet tugging on Mercury. None of it was convincing. So Einstein sits down with the equations he's been developing for general relativity and applies them to Mercury's motion. And when he's done with the calculation, he is amazed because his mathematics predicts that Mercury's orbit should shift by 43 arc seconds per century, just what everybody had seen. Einstein tells his friend Adrian Fokker that when his calculations agreed with the observations, it gave him palpitations of the heart. That's how exciting it was. So Einstein is now set to lecture on these spectacular results in Mercury's orbit the following week, November 18th, at the Prussian Academy. But just before he's gonna give that lecture, he receives another surprise from David Hilbert. And tune in next week to find out what that was.